I love it because you're right in that knowledge doesn't only show up in books um, and in the situation. There is also the dynamic of um, this. I mean, there's different dynamics when you're experiencing something rather than just reading something, right? Uh, a lot of the times when we're reading or consuming information, it's the intellect that's involved. It's the, the, the brain matter that's involved in selecting, identifying, trying to convey meaning to things. Um, but when you're in a situation, it's like your whole being is involved. And so the dynamics of your sen felt sensation, your, your felt thinking, the context, uh, of where you find yourself, all of those things then allow you a greater understanding and a greater experience of the experience, right? And so you not only perceive understanding and acquire knowledge by being present, but also through the different senses, you then digest that knowledge further. Um, and I think it's so wonderful when we do have experiences. And I think, you know, it, often when you go for a job interview, depending on the role, they'll often look at your experience, right? Because there's nothing can buy experience. If you've been in a role and you've done something for a long time and you know you've been successful in it, then oftentimes you'll be selected um, over those who haven't had any experience in it. Because experience just gives you a depth of understanding and capability that knowledge alone will not give you. Um, no matter what, you know, year, era era we're living in right <laughs> it's always going to come back to that lived experience of this person's going to be um trustworthy within that role we know that we can have confidence because they will perform based on lived history um right that we have and i think there's something to be said there in terms of not just reading things and acquiring knowledge but let us be present and experience things and expose ourselves to those experiences uh, more often. Um, because if we don't, we're living really just removed from the felt sensation and the greater depth of um, being present with life itself, right? I mean, a lot of the times we don't do certain or live certain experiences. Like, let's say a lot of people might not skydive. Well, it's because of fear or whatever else that the reasons might be. But when you do skydive, it's like you can speak about that differently to someone who might just have seen someone else do it, right? Um, and I see this with nursing as well. When we're in a health uh, sort of position, you see a lot of the times that students, for example, the other week we were arguing about this one question on an ass assignment where it asked about them placing themselves within the context of a small clinic in a rural setting and the students could not grasp the concept because they're like, well, I've, I've never been there. What does, what does that mean? I, I can't, you know, give you the answer that this is looking for and trying to convey that the question is all asking more about the critical thinking and ability to think outside the box was really difficult um, because they could not place themselves in that context and identify the things that would happen there because they don't have experience of it. So experience sometimes will trump knowledge and uh, with our students for sure when it comes to health and certain roles of course not just within health but there are certain roles we still see you know apprenticeships being um, uh, undertaken because we know that there's something different in terms of understanding and depth of um, capability that comes out of someone being hands-on and actually performing the task and practicing the task um, and so with nursing, we see that definitely makes a difference when students can be within the context of nursing, they can be immersed in the experience itself rather than just from a, you know, theoretical base talk about it. Um, so, yeah, I really appreciate that distinction of this is the knowledge we can acquire by reading and, you know, watching something, but it's so different to when you actually live it 